Hey guys, it's Bobby here. I thought it was about time for another video. Of course, most of you who have seen my other videos know that I love appliances. I have 43 vacuum cleaners, um, I have induction cooker, blender, um, microwave, mixer, toaster oven, let's see, two sewing machines in the bedroom there, my granny's vintage food processor, which she never used, but gave me when I was a teenager that I love. And my fruit and vegetable juicer, which was a centrifugal juicer from Walmart for about $99 that I've had for two years now. And actually hate that juicer. It's loud and it, it's centrifugal, so it actually hurts the nutrients in the fruits and vegetables. It's hard to clean. I've never liked anything about it. So I'm going to throw it in the garbage or give it to a friend or something. I'm just going to get rid of it um, because I replaced it with something. And that's actually what this video is about. And what I replaced it with is a new juicer called an Omega Vert. Now, I love this juicer, first of all, because, um, or I love juicers in general, because I love appliances, as you can see. Um, that's really one of my true passions. However, I love juicers because I hate vegetables. And uh, I just don't like eating them. If I could eat steak and ice cream for every meal, I would probably do it. But that's not healthy or intelligent, so... I decided it was time to get some nutrients in me, and uh, I needed a better juicer because the other one was just a nightmare to use. And uh, this one, I've used it once. I've only had it for a couple hours now, but I totally adore it. The pulp is really dry when it comes out. It's easy to use. It's self-feeding. It's very quiet. It has a reverse. Um, it's just amazing. It's easy to clean. There's nothing about it that I don't like yet. Um, even the, um, like, this is the the pulp thing. Or it's uh, the same thing, the, um, the juice thing, they're the same exact size. So it doesn't matter which one you use. The other machines, they usually have things that are very specific and they have to fit together tightly. So I love this, and I'm just going to do a little juicing demo for you with the new machine, in case you're considering one as well. It was, it was $370 something, it was $370 something dollars. I got it from discountjuicers.com after many emails and videos from John Kohler. Um, really good guy and uh you know it was a it was a decent price i mean it was it's an expensive juicer but it just it's so heavy it feels quality it's just worth it it's just so worth it so it's it's worth every penny i'm not i don't regret buying it one bit so let me just show you kind of how it goes together a little bit there um this first piece goes on like this and I'm going to do this with one hand because I don't have a tripod yet, so it might take me a little bit to get the hang of it, especially since this is only my second time assembling this thing. Um, so we will see how it goes. What I do like is that it's pretty easy to assemble and very easy to clean. These are the wiping blades, so these um, these little silicon things actually swipe the screen as it's, as it's turning to actually kind of pre-clean the screen, which is really nice. And then that should just snap in somehow. This is my first time doing this, or second time. There. Got it. Okay, now this is the auger. It's made out of a material called GE Ultim, which is a pretty strong material, apparently. It, uh, it does seem very, very, very hard, so that's good. This machine is not dishwasher safe, by the way, so in case you're wondering. And if I did have to complain about something, it would be that the manual is poorly written by people who don't speak English. Um, it just lacks details. The grammar is bad. It's not easy to understand. There's no recipes in it. It's really not a good manual at all. But the machine makes up for it. And you can find out all the other stuff on the Internet or watch videos. So the top part goes on like that. You just twist it. There's a lock thing. And that, that little thing here has to be lined up with where it says lock. Now... One thing that I wish somebody had shown me when I bought this juicer was the switch. I always like switches, and I like to see what one looks like. And nobody really showed the back of the juicer with the button. So this is on. You know, you push it up, it turns on. That's pretty quiet. The middle position is off. And then if you want to reverse, you hold the reverse down. And then if it gets jammed, which it sometimes does with carrots, um, you just hold that down, and it'll uh, it will kind of fix itself, and then you just turn it back on. So, very nice switch. You know, it, um, what I, what I don't like is when an off button is in the middle, and then the reverse sticks on, because then you press too hard, and you have to press it back and find the balance. This one, if you press it all the way to reverse, it just pops back to off if you let go. So, that's really nice. So, here is my juicer. Oh, the, um, 
the seed tray here is really nice for things like grapes, little small things that really just um, they go all over the place, or for reprocessing the pulp, which you almost don't have to do, but you still get a lot more out if you try it with this thing. Um, it's really good for that, so it really just helps. Um, it is a small hole, though. This kind of juicer is a really small hole, so you know, it's one of the, not one of those big mouth juicers like my centrifugal juicer was. So you do have to cut the stuff up finer, but I think the results, the better nutrition that you get from the proce from the produce that is processed a little better, I think that actually makes up for it. So it's not a problem. And even look at the, the little food pusher. Look how well designed it is. You almost don't need it. This thing is almost self-feeding. But, like, there's almost no cracks or crevices. It's all rounded. It's all one piece. Let me show you the, the food pusher on my other one just for comparison. It's got these grooves in it. It's got a two-piece thing. You take this part out, and then it's hollow inside, and then it's got a groove there. I mean, it's just, it's a mess. It's a nightmare. So, you know, they really thought about uh, everything when they made this Omega Vert. I actually wanted the Hiram juicer instead when I bought this, but because I like the handle and I like the color better, but um, I didn't get it. And the reason I didn't get it is because it only has a one-year warranty instead of a ten-year warranty like this one. So that was the deciding factor for me. All right, so we're going to see if we can do this with one hand. And this thing juices fast, too. It's pretty amazing. All right. Start it up. All right, so that is it. That is all of the produce I had to juice. The pulp is very dry. Look how dry that is. That is just amazing. There is a bit more pulp from this juicer than there would be from a centrifugal juicer, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing unbearable. It's really a very nice machine, and I totally love it. Um, it also comes with, by the way, a, a cleaning brush, so you can actually use that to help you clean it. But really, I just rinsed it off right when I'm done, and it actually cleans very well. This is the box. I thought about doing an unboxing video, but I don't really understand the point of that. So I figured I would need both hands to do that, and uh, so I didn't. The book is actually poorly written. This is the book. Um, it's written by people who don't speak English as a first language. The grammar is bad. It lacks details. It has no recipes. 
So it's actually a pretty bad book, um, but it's all right. It's, it's a good machine, and it makes up for it. The quality of this juice, it, it just tastes so good. It's just amazing. It's a beautiful, vibrant color. The foam's not too much. It's, uh, it's supposed to last 72 hours. One thing I don't like is that there's a discrepancy about how many uh, revolutions per minute this thing runs. Some places say 70, and some places say 80. The box says 80, but the book says 70, and it's mixed all over the Internet. So I don't understand that. I mean, it can either run at 70 or it can run at 80, but it can't run at both. So one of them has to be true and the other one has to be false, but I don't know which one is true and which one is not true. I just don't understand the reason for this discrepancy. It doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that is my video about my fabulous new juicer. And if you are considering one, I think this is pretty much the only one to even look at. I can't imagine ever needing any other kind of juicer. This one just does everything superbly. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this video, this is my first day with it, so, um, you know, post in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as, as well as I can. It did come with, by the way, this other screen here, which has larger holes for more pulp. It puts enough pulp in the juice. You don't need more pulp. So, anyway, and this is made out of the old plastic material. The newer uh, screen actually has a better, stronger material because these plastic ribs uh, used to crack on the first models. So... This is actually model 350 HD, the Omega Vert juicer. The 330 is actually cracked, so they've replaced it um, with a harder material on the regular juicing screen, which is actually a good thing. I was concerned about that when I read initial reviews when I was making a decision. It's taken me about two years to actually decide on this juicer, so it was a pretty big decision for me. But uh, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and happy juicing.